The Pontifical Commission for Sacred Archaeology is the Vatican body responsible for the care of ancient cemeteries and other artifacts from the early Christian centuries. They recently unveiled this 3rd century hypogeum, or an underground burial chamber, that belonged to the Aurelia family of Rome. The paintings um, um, represents, uh, represent the Aureli uh, in, um, per, in, in some moments of their life, uh, and uh, we can uh, um, argue that they were particularly rich and uh, um, they were uh, owner of uh, big uh, um, villas, uh, as show the, um, this wall, uh, um, and also here, uh, you, where we can see uh, the um, um, buildings, uh, the, the villas, uh, the gardens uh, that uh, um, had uh, uh, this uh, rich uh, family of uh, the imperial Rome. For the past 10 years, a team of archaeologists has been restoring this hypogeum that dates back to the 3rd century, but was only discovered in 1919. The Vatican and the team of archaeologists say the restoration of this underground chamber has given some insights into the Aurelia family and the transition of paganism to Christianity. It's important because the frescoes are the beginning, the transition between paganism and the Christian life. Frescoes are still very much classic pagan frescoes, but at the same time there are already some Christian elements and illustrations. So we're at a halfway point in the moment when Christianity, the religion that comes from the East, begins to enter Rome. The hypogeum is completely adorned with frescoes that have been restored by laser technology, and we were able to uncover an unknown scene. You can see the first Aurelia in mourning as she finds her two brothers who were already dead. The hypogeum will only be open to the public through private reservations from the Pontifical Commission. Their hope is to preserve this Roman treasure, but also to share it with the world.